Hello and welcome. This video is my entry to the Excel Hash 2021 contest. Excel Hash is a friendly contest put together by my fellow Excel buddy, Oz Du Soleil. This year we have, I believe, 16 other Excel YouTubers in addition to myself that will be putting our wits together to create a solution that includes four random ingredients. This year, the ingredients are to include the cutout people in Excel, to include two of either the Power Query data types, the Lambda or Let functions, and dynamic arrays. And the fourth ingredient is the use of the even function in Excel. Yes, that function that we all use every day, don't we? Needs to be included. So this video will give you an overview of my solution and how I incorporated those ingredients. There is a link in the description of this video to get access to the Excel workbooks that I used so you can look through my solution in your own time. Okay, so let's have a look. This is an Excel dashboard that I created which shows the results of a fictional company and some running that they did to raise money for charity. And the theme is that some colleagues in an office got together and tried to run or walk as many miles as they could within the month of January. And the number of miles that they run in total will be tripled by the company, rounded to the next even number, and then evenly divided between two charities. And the charities receiving this money will be between number one and number two runners. Who did the most mileage? It will go to the charity of your choice. Now, the data of these employees and which charity they're raising money for, how many miles they ran, this has all come from a separate workbook. It's been imported by Power Query and then we've created these Power Query data types. Let's have a quick look at that. So here we are in Power Query, and you can see that the data has been pulled from an Excel workbook named Participants that is provided in this video description. There is a table in that workbook which is pulled in, and then, as you can see on this step, all of the columns have been included in this data type that was created. That data was loaded to this table you can see here on the competitor's sheet. And these Power Query data types are a rich column of information. Multiple columns all stored in one, reducing the clutter on our worksheet. And as I click one of the data type icons, next to a participant name, we can see the additional information stored about them. We also have this data sheet where I have a list of those employees and have used the cutout people. I've used an image of that person in a winning pose and also in a losing pose if they finished second, i.e. the first loser. Back to the dashboard, you can explore this in your own time using the link in the description. But I have used a variety of dynamic array formulas. We have a simple sum in the total miles cell, and you can see how it's getting the data from that Power Query data type. Competitors, the name of the table, participant, the name of the column, and then dot miles to get that column from it. And as you explore some of the other cells, we can see down here in each of the four different teams that they were divided into, 
Excel life, never merge, something special and just unpivot. You can see that there are some dynamic array formulas being used. In this example, we have sort by and a couple of filter functions, all accessing the data from those Power Query data types. And because it's been pulled across here by that filter function, we can even access that information from this dashboard. I could click on the data type icon for Randy, and I can see, for example, Randy's mileage shown in kilometers. I can see he wanted to raise money for Charity C. And as I scroll down, his favorite Excel formula is the if function, and he prefers burgers over pizza. Very important information. At the top where the money is raised, there you can see the even function. Multiply the total mileage by three, round it up to the next even number, so that then in the cells underneath that, we can split it between the charities A and B, because they are the charities that Angela and Alexander wanted to raise money for. And they were the winner and the second place in the number of mileage, both belonging to the team something special. The cutout people have then been used in this dashboard and we have a picture lookup formula that is doing that. So that cutout image of Angela and Alexander are automatically pulled across via formulas. And you can see those formulas in the name manager here we are, an X lookup function has been used to pull across the image of Angela in this case, and then another formula for Alexander. So that is my entry for the Excel hash 2021. This video was just an overview of what I've done. Please explore it further by downloading the workbook. You will also see in the description of this video a link to the YouTube playlist where you can also check out some of the other contestant entries. Thank you, Oz, for inviting me to take part in Excel Hash 2021. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please click that subscribe button to receive the latest Excel videos from me.